MyTab is the world's first tactile tablet for people with sight loss. We are making Braille and all of the information digital for people who cannot see. Do you know that only one single percent of all the information right now is available in Braille? This is the only option how children and how even adults can get literate. They can learn to, to read and write. And this is crucial in order to be employed later on in life. And this is because of my personal motivation. A friend of mine at that time who is blind told me that all of the digital information right now is not fully accessible for people with sight loss and how there is no tool who can combine Braille as a universal um, code and standard for people with sight loss and audio. And I started developing from scratch. You can see um, one whole device with two screens, a tactile screen which represents Braille. The bottom part is a touch screen. It's run on Android, so it's open source. Everything that's down, down there, you can control it with voice. So when you slide your finger, it's telling you Messenger, Facebook, um, Google Docs, or ebook. And with double tap, you open it. And this is how you can hear as a blind user what's going on, what I'm choosing. You can listen to the content as they're doing right now, or one, by pressing one button, you automatically convert the content into Braille and it pop ups. You can use the tablet for online purposes like web surfing, um, social networks and so on, but you can also run it offline. So if you download and put a book or document on USB, then it's automatically converted into Braille. Our main concept is combining three different domains in terms of microfluidics, smart materials, as well as pneumatics, and put everything into one mobile device. Yes, audio is great, and it's not a competitive tool to light up or any other Braille device. It's, um, they're supporting the function of Braille. Braille will never die, because this means the written language will die. Uh, the thing is, we give another chance to read and to use it, and it's already invented. Why not, you know, making up-to-date technology as we have nowadays for people more than 300 million people out there.